good afternoon or good morning or good evening or good whatever day it is to you guys um not the best start to a video so today i am cracking on with an audio upgrade for my mr2 now the reason why i need the upgrade is because it's got some very nasty speakers in the doors and in total it's running two mid speakers and six tweeters which i'll show you very shortly but Having six tweeters makes the noise, the music, really, really high pitched and there's like no bass at all. So, I know you don't really get a lot of bass from speakers, but if I get rid of some of the highs, I can have the music louder and I'd get a bit more bass without being deafened by the high noises. So, I've got to grab myself a set of Fly uh, components. Now, Fly aren't a very expensive brand, but they are probably one of the cheapest sets of components I can buy. Now, the reason why I've gone for one of the cheapest is because I'm trying to do everything on a budget, so I want to keep costs down. These cost me 40 quid delivered, um, and they're 255 watts com proper components, not, um, as you can see, there's the speaker, and we can see the speaker and the separate tweeter. Um, so I'll be able to hopefully fit them into the car and I'll have a lot less horrible noises. But another reason why I went for Fly is because I actually also have a Fly amp, and that's how the speakers are powered at the moment, so... Fly speakers, fly amp, why not? It is a budget brand, but it's a budget build. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the setup inside the car and you can see what a mess that it is at the moment with all the uh, tweeters that I have everywhere. So let's go to the car. So here we have my lovely MR2 called Dave. We are going to go inside it. Come on, your bloody key. The only issue with Dave is he has central locking but on the key only there's no fob so let's get in the car right then let's start with what we have so behind there we have a very cheap nasty speaker that i paid like 10 quid or five quid for the set and they have a tweeter built in so i have a mid and a tweeter down there moving up from there we have a tweeter behind there and then last but not least we actually have a vibe tweeter because this originally had vibe speakers, I would have pointed it out, but they was blown when I got the car. Um, and we have that, so we have three tweeters on this side and the mid, and then again we have, you know, one down there, one up there, and then one behind the seat just there. That is a lot of tweeters, and a lot of extra noise. Now also, I have an amp. Then I get to the amp, come on. There we go. We have this amp here. Now it's a four channel amp, but I don't actually know how they've got it wired up. I think at the moment they've just got two sets of speaker wires running there. I'm not even sure. I'm gonna have to proper delve into the depths of how they've wired this up. But, um, oh yeah, there's all that mess down there. I forgot about all that. Oh God, I've got a lot of sorting out to do. Oh, and then behind the passenger seat, there is supposedly a, a, a standard big speaker, but like a standard sub or something. I need to look at that. So there is a lot of stuff I need to do on this car. Um, pulling the amp out, I think, just so I can have a look at it. The amp does work, because the speakers work. Um, I need to get to the depth to, to get find out what all them wires are. Because they are a set of Vibe component setups in there, that's what they are. But um, they're all screwed down, everything's a mess, and there's wires everywhere. Um, yeah. And there's. Yeah, look, look, just. Come on. Look, there's just wires everywhere for everything. So this is going to be a bit of a mess. Fun, though, yeah. So check out my rigged up <laughs> system. So I have my battery charger over here, running power, which I have plugged into the power leads of this pumpkin, auto pumpkin unit, which I loved. It was fantastic, and I had it in a few cars, but it's spare at the moment. Got just the one wire, one, one set of wires running to the crossover, which is then running to the woofer and to the tweeter. And as you can see on the screen, we have Cartoon On and On, which is one of the songs I play quite frequently at the moment in my videos. So it's an NTS one. It's currently on my phone. NTS. So I can play this in the video and there will be no copyright. No copyright issues, YouTube. So when I press play, 
it will be loud or laddish. sounds like on a camera on or the audio of filming I have no idea but in person it sounds good and you can you can really see the movement when it's doing the bass notes as well so hopefully you should be able to uh, feel it in the car but that is one speaker jerry rigged up and it works in the garage which is awesome uh, my battery's about down the camera so I need to get it charged up before we do the next bit which would be ripping out the stuff in the car <laughs> Started to fall, and where were you? How could I know you were falling too? Grabbing the wind, cutting my skin, but it's hard because I, I'm falling. So since the last bit of filming, I decided to pull the amp out of the car. Mainly to see what settings it had, because it was very awkward because it was mounted and I couldn't really see what I was doing. But I can see all the settings it has now. Uh, and then to see how the speakers actually wired in and whether they could be bridged. Um, you can bridge, but you can only bridge on one channel on this amp. Um, so I'm not bridging and I'm using the two channels just like that. So the RCAs will be plugged in for the front. They're the front, because again, with the front speakers. But they're all powered up, no workings. That's why I've run a, 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 a fake remote lead power and the earth are all, everything's connected and it was all working fine. Um, it sounds very good to be fair, it just sounds a bit louder than when it was on the, the actual head unit. So now it's time to go and have a look at the jumble of mess of wires inside the car. As you can see, I've already got these wires off. And before anyone asks, I have disconnected the power lead on the battery. So I can touch the power and the remote and everything together and it's not going to spark. So we're fine. So in here we have what was the component part of the original vibe speakers which are no longer in the car and a big jumble mess of wires so i believe that them wires there in the middle of the screen are the left hand side speakers and those there no scratch that they'll be the right hand side these will be the left hand side what they've actually done is they've wired an extra set of tweeters on the wires that went to the normal tweeters very weird but I have a couple of ideas. I can either put my component bits in there and use the original wires that, the, well, these extra wires that they run into the doors, or I can just connect these wires straight onto the amplifier and then put my component bit at the door. And I think that's what I'm going to do. But I need to pull all this out, tidy it up, and work out what wire goes to where. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to pull all this out. So what I've done at the moment is I've pulled out all the stuff that we didn't need, which has left me some wires in there which go to tweeters and wires that go to speakers. Now, I don't really want to be using the wires that go to the tweeters because if I'm going to put my components in the door, as in the, you know, the splitter, then I want to use the normal speaker wires and then put the component thing in your back behind the door pocket, which I'll do shortly. But I've just connected what I think is... I don't even know which speaker that one's for. I'm hoping it's the main speaker, not a tweeter. So I've connected it up to what I think is front left. I'm going to put the amp power back on uh, and then turn on the radio and that and listen to where the sound comes out. And fingers crossed, it comes out of the front left. And then I know that that's the right set of wires. If not, I'll have to move it onto this one and so on. So I'll find out which is which. So it's all fun and games. So we're all connected up. I've left it on the static. And the static is coming from the front left speaker, the bottom speaker, not the tweeter, or even the back tweeter. So that is wired up how and where I want it to be. So I just need to match it up on the other side for the other speaker, and then we can actually go and replace the speakers now, and then put 
yeah, and then put the bits and bobs in the door. So, yeah, we're all good. Time to swap things around. I cut my freaking finger on a piece of glass. So the amp's back wired in, although it's not secured yet, because I want to be able to move it to adjust things. We now have sound out this speaker only, and that front speaker only. Nothing out with the tweeters. So now I shall be able to set the door cards off, put the splitters in the doors, and then connect up the new speakers. It's like a magic shutting door, that. The new speakers and the new tweeters. Whee! We're getting somewhere now. Got rid of that lot. All bits and bobs and messes, bits of wires, so I think we've done alright. Now I've got to get these door cards off. I've certainly picked a good day for filming. Glorious outside, lovely and sunny. So what I've got is the door card off, as you can see. Um, I've chopped off the old tweeter, because that's connected to a set of wires that run all the way back to the amp, but are not connected. So I'm going to leave them like that. I'm going to connect the splitter thing down here, this box, into there. Well, allow me to then connect the woofer on um, and then I can run the wires up to the tweeter. I'm going to try and keep everything tucked in that corner if I'm honest because uh, then it would just be neater. See I've got the original wires just hide in there. Obviously got chopped off but at least, I'll let us, well, at least I left the wires there I suppose. But I'm going to try and tie wrap all my wires to this so it keeps it nice and neat and tidy. It's going to be a bit awkward when I come to actually put the speaker in, but um, yeah, I reckon we can do that. Now I've got the speaker on, um, I need to figure a way to sort the tweeter out, because um, I don't know how it's going to mount yet. But I'm going to put the door card on and have the tweeter just hanging over while I figure out how it's going to fit in here. Sweet! So, I'm going to wrap this video up soon now, um, or pretty much at the end of this clip. The speakers sound amazing and I'll quickly put another NTS song on and I'll play a bit of um, you know, notes and stuff. But it's hard to tell on the camera, but trust me, the bass, it's not like a sub, but the bass is punchy and it's direct and it's, it, it makes an impact in the car where it didn't before. That's partly because of it had crossovers that weren't working correctly because it had speakers that had tweeters and mids and lows all built in. I didn't even realise I had all three in until I took them out. Um, it was all a mess and higgledy piggledy. Now we've just got music from the head unit, which is an Alpine head unit, um, sending it straight to the amplifier, which is a fly amplifier, which is going to fly speakers and it sounds brilliant. I've got a bit of fine tuning to do in terms of the gains and things like that um, for the actual loudness and how punchy I want the bass, I suppose. Um, but it sounds epic. I just need to find another song that might sound good because i have my phone plugged in for ncs music because that way guys you can hear the music on video without me actually dubbing in the music and then i can't get copyright infringements either so it's all good it's a win 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 so are we playing i think we're playing we're playing look that one see it's no copyrights just go just figure blank and we've put that on my videos before Wow, I can't believe how good it sounds. I actually can't get over how good it sounds. There's a couple of reasons for that. It's because they're not just speakers, they're amped up speakers, so there's more oomph behind it. But it's also because it's not all that crap that it was before. And I know they are a budget speaker before someone goes and comments like, oh, look how excited you're getting over some really cheap speakers. Yeah, they are cheap speakers, but... The quality of them speakers are better 
than the high end or relatively high end stuff I bought 15 years ago when I was first modifying cars. They, they just are. So don't get me wrong, some really expensive components nowadays would be better quality than these. Of course, they, you'd think they would anyway. But they are better quality than what I was used to from years ago. And they sound clear and they sound punchy. And that's the way I'm going to put it. There is bass there, but I'm going to put it's punchy, not bass. And because this is such a small cabin, it just fills the cabin full of music from two speakers and two tweeters. These ones behind me aren't wired in. I've just left them there to fill the hole, otherwise it looks like there's a horrible, nasty, crappy cut-out hole. Wow! That is epic! I can I can see the silver of the speakers just vibrating behind the you know the, the covers like behind them covers. And, oh, it takes me back to my youth. Another reason why I like this car. I just like it more and more and more the more stuff I do to it. I love Dave. Dave, I love you. I do. Guys, all I need to do now is play around with the amp and just do a bit of tweaking. Although I think it's about there. Um I'm going to have to take it on a few road trips and listen to different music and stuff like that and work out exactly where I want um, the settings. I turned it off the high pass filter so it was on flat at the moment, that's why the speakers are kicking out a bit more bass. If I put it on high pass I lose some of that bass but I want some of the bass. I keep getting messages, that's why my music keeps dipping in there. But guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Okay so I was going to end the video. Uh, and I've actually filmed the ending and then I thought I'd decide to uh, do a bit more research into what is behind the passenger seat this is what is behind the passenger seat it is a sub it's a standard stock sub but it's a sub nonetheless now it's wired in but I'm assuming it's not actually wired in anymore because obviously they've cut in all the extra wires and extra speakers and stuff but can I wire it in and can I get it wired in to actually work because I've only got to get wires to do the side to the amp and I reckon I can. I reckon I'm missing a couple of wires that I need and I might need to order them but I'm going to get this bad boy out get it on the bench and get testing it see if it works and if it works then why not get it working because it's a stock subwoofer then and it'll be working and give me a bit of bass so I've got to remove these bolts I've already done one I've got five more to do then I think it's going to come out so I'm going to get it out and then I'll take it to the bench and then I'll show you. So here we have the stock subwoofer. And this is you know stock plug and all this business. So I'm going to make a bit of wiring up that can connect onto there and connect into this loom like I did before when I was testing the speakers. And then see if it works. Just pump some music through and see if it actually works. Um, I hope that it does, I really do. Because then I can actually put it all back in and it'll work. But how cool is that? <laughs> just I don't want to waste what's left the storms we chase are leading us it's knackered because that hmm <laughs> it's a shame but it does make me wonder now if I can get a replacement um because that be quite cool to have, I think. Especially because it's like a purposely built sub box, but yeah, it does work. But not very good. Oh well, maybe a job for another day. You might have learned something, I'm not sure. I've put a how-to video over on Blue's Garage of installing the actual speaker itself. But you've probably seen a lot of the footage on this video anyway. Um, I'll just try and mix and match things. I wanted to do a how-to video for Blue's Garage, but I also wanted to do a video for this channel to show you how crap all the wiring was and all the weird stuff that I have that was there before. And now I have an advert playing. So I'm going to be silly. But cool, right. I want to... Yeah, I'm going to leave it here, guys. I will see you very soon in another video. I have other videos planned for the MR2. Um, and there is a video planned for the Supra when I can get round to it. But I've got big stuff to do on the MR2 first. Um, 
might do that next. I'm not sure. But thank you very much, as always. Stay humble, guys. Thank you to my patrons. Thank you, everyone, to watch. I will see you very soon. Take care. Stay humble. Bye-bye.